The after Easter sales are coming. I hope to pick up more of these paper mache eggs to make handles for my crochet hooks. I've made handles out of craft foam pieces. Uh, they have holes in the middle already, but these tend to twist on the hooks unless the hooks are exactly the right size. Other than that, they feel pretty good, and maybe someday I'll glue them down. In the past, I had made polymer clay handles, but they're kind of slippery. Um, I always felt like they were going to slip it on their hands, and even though they made the hook a little bit longer, which kept them from poking into the side of my hands, I just didn't like the outcome. I love the feel of polymer clay, but I just did not like these handles. I thought about using some of these paper mache Christmas balls. I tried them out, but they didn't quite feel right. Then I tried several different Easter eggs that I had on hand. I figured the sales were coming up, right, since Easter's over and the craft stores want to get rid of these things. But I need to know which kind to buy in order to make the best handles. I had some small ones, one paper mache, one rubbery plastic, and one hard plastic, so I kind of looked at those. The rubbery plastic just didn't feel right. Um, the hard plastic, I didn't like the feel of it, although since then I have had another idea. I also looked at the big plastic and a larger paper mache or cardboard egg, and I think I like the feel of the paper mache pretty well. That size egg that you're seeing now was seemed about the right size. The big one was just too big. I tried a round Christmas ball, but it just didn't feel right. I think it was too big. I also wanted to compare some material that I could carve up. A bit of pool noodle, maybe some craft foam from a kneeling pad. So I tried the kneeling pad first. I carved it up, and then I just kept on hacking away at it until it was a shape that felt comfortable. I tried to test this shape both with pencil grip and with knife grip, which is uh, more my usual style. And I also tried turning it at different angles because the flat shape of the foam uh, gave me some indexing, which I liked, so I could tell which way the hook was facing, but I wasn't sure which way I wanted the hook to face relative to the flat handle. So I tried a second one. I carved it up, and I even tried using an egg as a model to see if I'd gotten a good shape. I tried the actual paper mache egg after peeling off the label. I poked a hole in the end. That took some doing. I'm not showing you all of it. And I finally tried it with the hook. Got that in, and I really liked the result. I liked how it felt. I tried carving up a bit of pool noodle. I tried several different shapes. I uh, kept on hacking it. Finally ended up with some sort of a bean shape. Um, I rather liked this, and when I took it to my crochet club, uh, a number of other people also really like the squishiness of the pool noodle. So I will definitely shop the post-Easter sales, get some cardboard and plastic eggs, medium and small, and with these various hook handles, I'm going to need to road test them. I like them, but they, they, need, uh, they need more fine-tuning.